Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen. That's right. <clears throat> Just when you thought it was safe. Welcome to Island Avalon. We've got uh, one temple, three treasures, and one unit to recruit on this map. And we can uh, run ourselves into some angels, mermaids, and octopi. All in the ocean. If you want to go that way, go for it. This is a... Uh, this is an important stage. All the stages are really important. Uh, this one is going to introduce us in t uh, to, to a few things. <clears throat> Excuse me. That we are going to want to take care of some way, somehow. And uh, this one can can be a bit of a struggle. <clears throat> it's not a very big map. There's a lot of space. And, uh, that space... Eh. Well, it's, it's not like the last stage, but, you know. This empire is kind of a jerk, huh? <clears throat> I beg your pardon. Not great. But, you know. What can you do? At least we didn't have a world card to start. Found the item. What we find? You know, what? that's pretty good. That's a good weapon. That's right. You got it. The way I like to approach this stage, <clears throat> it's kind of do it in steps. Right? So our first step is going to be these three towns. Um, and then we'll just kind of branch out from there. Well, that's a good card. It's a very good card. This black knight fella. I ain't got no use for no black knights. Okay. Let's get in a couple of fights. This is something we've seen before. It's not great, but it's not terrible. <clears throat> there's no walls in this stage like there were the last ones, so there's no overabundance of high-flying units. And speaking of units, this unit we're using right now is a good unit. Two knights in front to deal physical damage and take physical damage. One healer in the back to keep everybody alive. And two bolt spells in the back row. It's pretty good. Though we're not doing particularly well in this fight so far. That's a little better. <clears throat> Wasn't enough, though. It's all right. Let's just put you right back where you belong. Wow. 
didn't didn't go so well there either. That's the problem: fighting a unit with three characters versus five, and having a multi-target spells. The unit with uh, five characters is always at a small disadvantage. These are two Raven Men. I don't know if we've seen Raven Men yet. Raven Men are the more chaotic version of Hawk Men. A little less agile, a little more powerful. Uh, they get a fire spell in the back row instead of a thunder spell. And, um, yeah, pretty much. And then those fairies in the back don't really help. Unless they're gonna use Kiss on themselves, but they rarely do. <clears throat> of course, if they don't use uh, Kiss on themselves, it does make them easier to hit. Though they're kind of hard to hit anyway. Not too tough though, they only get two attacks, they're just hard to hit. Oh no, Pandora! Watch out! What do we got? Alright, one mage with his multi-target magic and four ghosts. Well, we can't kill the ghost unless we hit it with a white magic weapon. <clears throat> or that heal spell, and had that heal spell hit, we would have been done by now. Since the heal spell didn't hit, we're not done by now. We got it, though. Unless both of our front rows go first. Alright, well, we don't got it. Had you hit the first time, buddy, would have been fine. Problem with killing ghosts is even though you take their health bar all the way down, they have no health anyway. Makes them obnoxious. One attack! That's all we needed. One more attack. They got it, though. <clears throat> Still couldn't get rid of that unit. All right, now what do we got? All right, those are angels and a shaman. A shaman is a powered up cleric, doesn't necessarily heal any better, uh, but heals more. Has two attacks in the front row and three heals in the back row. <clears throat> a cleric can turn into a shaman once that cleric reaches level 10 and has the appropriate alignment and charisma. Angels get one halo attack in the front row and one banish attack in the back row. There it is. And those are white magic attacks. <clears throat> so we fought one unit that was full of ghosts and now we have one unit that's full of uh, white holy type characters. Uh, it kind of makes it tough. I could have sent garlic out, you know, our, our demon guy with the skeleton and the pumpkin and all that would not hold up well to this unit and also wouldn't be able to have fought the ghosts and the mage uh, angels pretty weak physically statistically not super great have some good attacks but glass cannon ish Oh, okay. That's cool. We found a crown. Crowns are great. We're gonna use a crown. Let's use a crown on... Uh, not Dreyfus. It won't work on Dreyfus. Let's use a crown on you. So we're gonna turn you into an Amazon. Turn you into a cleric. Never mind. I'm confused. What am I doing? 
Beatrice, okay, you're the leader now. <laughs> Just for a minute, though. We're gonna turn Lori into an Amazon. We're gonna use this crown. If you use it on Amazonian, what does it do? It symbolizes royalty. This gives us probably the second best unit, or arguably the best unit in the game. A princess. A princess is a white unit. Uh, has holy attacks. Can recruit angels and fairies. But what makes princesses really, really cool... Uh, not only that they've got a multi-target hit, um, a multi-target holy magic spell when they're in the back row. If they are the leader of a unit, every character in that unit gets one extra attack. So, our Valkyrie and our Hawkman can now attack three times, our Mage can now, or our Wizard can cast magic three times, and our Cleric can now heal three times. But... That extra attack doesn't apply just to everybody else, it applies to her too. So she gets that Starlight spell twice in the back row. Princesses kind are broken. And there's another unit we can get later on that if you pair with the princess, it's just, just game over. It is nigh impossible for anything to stand up to this, this other unit. You put a really strong black magic character in with it. Ooh, man. You get that to hit everybody, and you get black magic to hit everybody. And yeah, it's just amazing. I like princesses. They're good units. If you're going to have one, make them the leader. Don't don't ever not make them the leader. You're just missing out. It's a free emperor card every fight. Dreyfus's level is high enough that he should be able to class change, but his um, stats are too bad. His charisma's too low. So we're just gonna get rid of him. And we're gonna recruit an angel. Halo and Banish. Two of them, because the princess is leading the unit. That's a mermaid up there in the top left, sneaking around. <clears throat> Here's another new unit. It's a wild man, three wild men, and a dragon. It's no good. But they put the dragon in the back row so it can breathe fire. But it also means we they're gonna miss out on the dragon's defense, so, you know, what are you going to do about that? Uh, it should also be said, princesses, you might guess, physically, not very defensive, not very powerful. Try not to put them in the front row. If you do, they... They just shoot like a little star out of their stick there. Big deal. The only way to get a princess is to find that crown item, which is always random. Uh, there is nowhere you can buy them. There's, I think there might be one that you are given if you do certain things in the game, but other than that, you're pretty much just relying on luck to get a princess. And, uh... If you get one... User, man. Alright, now what? What's next? That's gonna be the Valkyrie and the two Griffins. I will bet you a dollar. Yep. All right, the mermaid sneaking around. One mermaid and two octopus. Octopus in the front row have four attacks and I think three in the back and a mermaid in the back row has one attack. It's an ice spell, much like ice cloud and one stab attack in the front row. Mermaids are... They're expensive. 
And for what they cost as a unit, I don't know if they're worth having. They don't move well on land. They are kind of strong, and their back row magic can be pretty good. But that one mermaid probably costs as much as two wizards. So. And how often do you really need the movement in water? So far, not very. I'm going to tell you something. At all, not very. Now that we've got this princess, expect to see, uh, expect to see her doing a lot of things. Yes, please, I will take a card. Not that one. I want to do over. <sighs> no. Gares is on the island. That's him up there in the top right. Monks are not to be confused with clerics and shamans. Don't do that. They are different. Liberation. We'll get into that a little more with other units later on. Yes! Well, all right. Most of what I've been doing editing, uh, most of what the editing out is, is hitting right now, is just moving places, fighting, you know, big chunks of time. Gares is kind of a jerk. Gares is the guy that was uh, transformed and killed the royal family, you remember, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, got it. Button. Anytime. This is what happens when you play the game double speed. There we go. Sorry. We're almost done, though. That means anything to you. Ogres are just humans that are mad. Alright. Good. Time to start sending out some other units. Not really sure what I'm doing. Sergei is so underleveled. That looks suspicious, doesn't it? Let's check it out. Sergei is a very underleveled unit, and I can tell that because he's not even $2,000 to send out. We have other characters that cost that much. I try not to take this location too early, uh, because this is close enough to basically dead center of the map. And uh, everybody just kind of swarms it. All the enemies come right to this temple. But, you know, we want to get it. We want to get it. I so want you to know that we found it. This is just going to be there for another minute. Do, 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 do. There we go. Sorry. Do I cut that out or not? You know? During this part of the editing. We've got a good card for that. It's alright with me. 
Alright, got it. One HP. Perfect. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. There we go. Yes. We'll keep that card. That's good. Hi. Not only have you destroyed the... Yes! Reputation boost. It's one of the first instance instances, excuse me, 7,000, almost eight to deploy her. Uh, that's one of the first instances in the game of the translation not being super great. Uh, the last line of that first box does not belong there. Okay. It's a little more cleaning up done. We liberated a temple. Or temple city, excuse me. Don't know which one. Let's find out together. There it is. This is not strategic for any reason. Yes, I'll pull a card. Yes, I'll take the temperance card. Little reputation boost. And maybe we gonna keep it? Sure. Destin can go and sit on that city for a little bit. Trying to keep him from getting in the heavy action so far. Perfect. Thank you. If I can get more of those, I'd be alright. What do we want to get rid of? We have two temperance. We'll get rid of that temperance we just got. And an item. Pristine sword. That's also a very good sword. And a white magic weapon, I believe. Like that Aisha was the unit that uh, liberated that city. Yes, I will pull a card. Another good card. We're keeping that one for sure. Yeah, get rid of that crappy tower card. Ah, uh, not in person. Not yet. Ogre of Legend. Do another little reshuffle. And that is the last of the cities. We've liberated everything. Alright. Apparently our reputation took a couple hits off screen, because it's right back where it was before. Buried treasure time. There's one way the heck down here. Black sword, not super great. Not only is it not a holy weapon, um, it's not very strong if I remember right. <clears throat> anyway, two more treasures to find. And there's another one. Amazing how quick we got that done, isn't it? Usually you hit that one on the way if you're sending a planes unit, but since these guys can fly, uh, it went right by it. Yeah, black robe's okay. It's not great. Put it on a wizard. Somewhere, there it is. Find out. Another pristine sword. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. We did all right. Now, we need to prep uh, Aisha's unit here. Tony! Tony! There's a sword, Tony! Strength and intelligence. 
Bobson. Bobson and Tony. Tony and Bobson. Yes, whopping strength plus three. Good enough. All right, now we're gonna do a quick reshuffle. Put those mermaids in the back row so they can use their magic. And we send Aisha off to fight Gares. Because why wouldn't you? What are we waiting for? Ah. Get in those tributes before we fight the boss and finish the level. Get a little extra cash. All right. That's the text box. They just copied it. And he's got a point. He's kind of beefy. He's got a couple of dragons. Black dragons that are very hard to kill. Uh, world's not really gonna do us a bit of good, but Fool should get rid of the dragons. Moon will not work on Gares. Absolutely will not work. So, I think... Knock some of that health off. He's got a lot of defense, he's got a lot of attack, and he always starts with this ability. Which hurts. Those pristine swords we just equipped, though, will help a little bit. If we can hit him. Bosses are always kind of hard to hit, and I don't know why. I don't like it. There we go. That's it for you, Gares. Get out of here. Oh, sure you are. You tested that theory, buddy? No, I don't think you have. We did a great gerb. And we got a new unit. Aisha is a very good healer. Her intelligence gets really high, which makes her really, really good at making people not dead. I'm in get out of here. I will see you guys next time.